Show me what lies ahead. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. The best gun to use for third person fights is the Peacekeeper because it, when you aim in, just because it has a choke that like charges up means that, that you can um, that it automatically aims in. Person then they left. But why do they come in the lead? It's always that one to die. Thanks, thanks to God's favor. I found the key. My face. Like I'm in your debt. Many thanks, friend. What's going on? You are a good friend to me. Thank you. Thank you enough, friend.
didn't get a lot of stuff here. Wait, is this where? No, it's not. Have a look, Sunan. I go. Why are you running from me? Get back here, man. Man, you seriously ran for your life. Hi. Bye bye. Oh, hey, there's a lot of people here. Star can do a whole right here. How do I get in here?
here moment. So I just have a question. Mm -hmm. If evil shoot at level five, mm -hmm. and and the and the gray ones are level one. How does it go from 1, 2, 3, 5? Level uh, 4 is the gold one, yeah. You sure? Yeah. But, but the other we ones, uh, liquid. Like with... Hey! Come here! I wish that there would be, like, a gold evil. And we're, like, every, like, two, like, 300 damage. Mm. A shield cell and, uh... And a syringe will be used faster. Yeah. Like, like, it's kind of like a, kind of like, it, it, it fits in like, like, like a regular body. Like, where, like, like, if it doesn't be fun, then, then it should just, like, do, like, the regular stuff. But if you pick up an Evo gold, then it will, like, every 200 damage, it will. Jet. To get on the other Upgrade side. the syringe and shield cell charging knife. So like, like 200 and then like the syringe goes to full shield. So like, be overpowered by the And then I will do I do. I do know. What? Take the fight to the enemy. How do you think I hit him? Whatever. Come here. Don't cower in fear. I'm not dangerous. I'm not. What? Oh, okay, that was weird. Are you just hiding with your shield, man? It's not very weird. Yo, it. Is that your weapon? That's what I don't care. Come here. Get me up. Oh. <clears throat> Lay down. You need to protect yourself. It's helpful. I mean, By breaking down doors. Doors and then... Bro, he counters... Rampart. Hard counters Rampart. He just tears down her, her thing. Uh, with his, uh, tactical? Yeah. He just, like, melt her things. I'm pretty sure, like, one of them, like, destroys, like, all the thing, right? Yeah. Or three. If it's all clumped up. Well, melt uh, her stuff. Yeah. Her stuff is no longer viable. It's even worse now, don't you? Rampart's even worse than she was before. <laughs> <laughs> Just shoot an arrow on my head? Yeah, it's, you're dead. Suffered. A 
crash the servers once again. How do I get in here, bro? Can I burn these things away? No. Can I always do that? Can I always do that? That's kind of pretty angry. I was that in the before. Bro, I like how frosty. The mm -hmm. 283 hours is 11 days, 19 hours, and 51 minutes. Frosty has over that in Rust. Sad. And that, and that's like just like in like a a week. Like, like, when was the last time that you, bro? Like Frosty's like Frosty is just he probably does he probably doesn't take a shower in number one. No, of course he doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't have school. He's spoiled. So like, he exactly, he has no school. He's spoiled. Like, Frosty's future isn't looking so great. <laughs> exactly that. He's, ooh. I don't know as what his mom is doing. Hits and, like, and, he, and he's gonna get a computer, he's like, he ain't gonna know. Zip. What do you see? Not much longer, corpse. Shut up. Get out of here. Where's the entrance, though? Who's that the end of the It just went around. Around this whole thing. There's no entrance. Oh. Okay. Teachers think kids are gonna be in the second recess is over. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to class, you know. Yeah. Bro, I'm taking every single extra Thanks second. for work. <sighs> and honestly, bro, did you forget recess existed? I don't like, I kinda did. I it's, wish, I, I wish we had recess, bro. I don't have it anymore. I'm in high school. I don't have recess. I don't have it either, bro. And it was a have... tough loss. Tough loss. <laughs> It, it, it was a tough loss. Bro, we had lunch and then recess, but now it's the same thing. Playgrounds, bro. I got some chicks in those playgrounds. I helped, I helped get chicks in those playgrounds. <laughs> I, I, I helped everybody. Well, not everybody. I helped the people I knew. I helped my friends. I helped a guy named Ray, a guy named Anthony. Anthony's gay, so I helped him be a worker. I don't know how I did that, but I did. What? Can I? Oh, I thought this was a person to kill. What? No, he's just dummies. Big old dummies. Get out my way. What's wrong with you? Wretched hat of yours. Rowan, Holger, why all this shouting? I could trade them. Eivor, thank you. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holger robbed me, and I demand he be punished. 
Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? When you hit the Does villain the with cow these speeches, he just kept on some thousand things, but he doesn't die. Eivor, this like, matter requires sensitive after judgment. After at least like one speech, the villain should die. <laughs> Wait, bro. In like the first like, ep like in like the first like couple like From in the like beginning. The in the first Please. episodes, I've watched Naruto. Well now, the show there isn't is no called Naruto, bro. Small, it's like called like Sasuke, Nothing bro. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat. Like, Sasuke, is there? Sasuke just up, dad. Who has better claim to oversee these disputes? Me? You might leave no, them no, to dad. work it out for themselves. Is that, but that your friend that like has bad traits? Letting go. No, he's he's an NPC in this game, and he's. Always saying that I know that over again. six years. Tell me all that has I got spoiled. I, I know I'm gonna kill him. I think I, have been I don't know if I kill him or some other thing, but I feel somebody. Saxon, Philistine. But this guy's what? going for a chance to kill my will. Silence, please. I'll hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. Junior. I understand. Mm. Thank you, Rowan. Would you date a trans woman? Like, like she turned, like he, he turned, her. He became a woman. <laughs> Would you date he them? turned her. <laughs> Would you date them? Uh, if they look good. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if they look good. Like, they used to be a, they used to be a dude with a pee. All good. Let me hear your sight. <laughs> Eivor, like, like, I'm not transphobic, you he's just like... You have known me as a skald for years. You have just, seen how my poems bring life to and joy mm. and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. No, nah, that's just plain stealing. He stole his... Tools, he stole his horse's tail, man. Come on, now. Items. All this is walking that's, still. No. Tovi's inks? All were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed. Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. So I'm going to... Yeah, Holger this wrong. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You sheared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holker. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished <laughs> significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! 
My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We are done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color I wish to see from you. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. That Holger, he is quite he is a character. What? I almost no, envy him to see the world through me. such a muddy <laughs> glass and live with such petty concerns. Like, he has no care in the world. Watson. Let's not walk too far. Yeah, exactly. Idea. She's almighty. Do you right where you are. Entire He's that <laughs> clear with his us. Yeah, it King Oswald has his pledged his loyalty gone. to us. Eivor Kingmaker, his ultimate gone. His ultimate? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if his ultimate counts. But... Yeah. Well. Yeah. Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilvulva like to Shropshire. I like how Chiyo Chiyo ultimate is just like he hopes to install him as elderman there. Like five for Chilvulva. He circle. should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. There was so much we were meant. Tovi. That's not a hundred. Sven. He he passed while I was away. Tovi. It's not a hundred. I wasn't there. Yeah, no one was. Huh? We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning. And we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he oh, went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do. Things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. Life is not a story, Toby. It is a fractured shout, unguided by verse. Most of us meet untidy ends. If we knew the shape of our stories before we lived them, we would hardly attempt to live them. I would have given anything for another day with Sven. Even a wordless one. He was not ready to go. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know that you're valued.
This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly.
I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds. See you, old friend. You really are a generous one. Enough for today? Until next we meet. Hmm. Good day. All right, bring out my lieutenant. Like to reorganize the done. I'll see you later, friend.
Randy, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now. But I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandebridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Randy, take a break. Let's make for Grandebridge Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridge Shire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. smells off. You get used to it. I do not wish to. Cast about this land, my friend. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen, and hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here.
Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Welcome to Grandebridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. Is that Evo I see? It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and Avoda. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have encamped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will We you... can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered at for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits, but do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There. The bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means.
lends me strength. Nicely done. You seemed hot for a battle, so here we go. Have a safe to deliver Magni his horse. <laughs> that was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Hey! Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit you, problem. Did you? Okay. Well done! So what time did you find my like sweet man? Your you horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank like, the courts, what time? he is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor, over here. Look at this. High time. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined? So what I'm not are you waiting playing two extra hours? A drinking contest. No, no. You versus me. To you is still versus Tana. table maiden. Randvi, we can do better than but table you, maiden. You'll get a Need eight queen eight. then. For you. Oh, oh, no. For right. me, you'll get it earlier. Yeah, but it might not two hours ahead of you. Exactly. So. Oh. You, Oh, yeah. Get it so earlier. Get it yeah. Oh, okay. I think. And I go to school at time, so I guess. This wasn't. Alright, bro. What's up? Nice. 
see. You should not have tried to outdrink me, Ranvi. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is... Thank you, Ranvi. So... Are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come. We'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ugh, Ranvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy. Return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? <laughs> no, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my... <laughs> Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe trap. <gasps> I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma, 
Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Ranvi. If you must. Look there! That must be the tower! Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <sighs> you climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Look at this. <laughs> A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. 
Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... ...and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... ...comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Ranvi? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Sunen, guide me. Survey the area soon.
pleasure to see you, Eivor. Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, indeed. Back to work, then. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Senefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire. Sigurd will be pleased to see you. I need your eyes, my friend. You seem sad, Gunnar. I am. Sven was a good friend to me over the years. I know. I'm sorry I was not here to send him on his way. He was loved. That he was. Let's suppose we honor him best by keeping the clan going. Anyhow, you probably need something, eh? May I see your stores? You like the looks of that one? I can get you that one easy. Do good work. I'm a put
Salutations. What do you have today? I must take my leave. You go on. What do you see, Suna? I would like to see... Nothing else? What have you got for me today? Can't have too many. I'll be sure to keep this in stock for you. A smart decision, Eivor. You will get so much use out of this. I'm almost dead. Is that everything? Shopping for the day? I have to go. I hope to see you soon. Show me. Eivor, lactum skiviti. Off we go. Can't raise the sail here. Let's have a song. Let's hear a story. Let the sail out!
Bring the mask down!
interesting because you can only go up and other than that there's like a really strong force that goes down. But of course when I say that this is the time when I'm gonna die so why do I mention it? happened here. Soon. An alehouse. This must be it. Sigurd's not here. I'll ask around. I'm looking for my brother, a large outspoken Norseman. Norse? Huh. Was he part of the fight here? Probably killed by Edwin's soldiers. Get gone while you can. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers.
You seem to respect this man Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Oxenaford Shire to be free, and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basson headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Be my eyes, Sigurd. It smells like a fish house. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolf Kist. Wise on nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned the Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elder man. Until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor Dane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Ava. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This.
true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. 